Welcome to our first chapter two video, where we're going to try and tackle the impossible. What's the best way to kick off a new chapter? How about a really short video? I'm going to try to be faster than water off Donald Trump's perfectly coiffed hair. You've heard it before. Taxes are inherently political. We take that head on in this part of the module, trying to define the impossible, a good tax. With this in mind, we're going to try to cover a series of videos on this topic, and I assure you, although I have political inclinations, I in no way anticipate setting forth a political dogma that I expect you to follow. Instead, I will provide what almost all Americans agree are the characteristics that would make one type of tax perhaps better than another. In actuality, most of us treat taxes a little bit like a boat. Everyone loves a boat. But few of us want to pay to maintain it, which is why our favorite boat is our friend's boat. Same is true for taxes. We like many of the goods and services taxes provide, but few of us want to pay more than their fair share and would generally be happier if our neighbor paid. If this becomes a topic of interest to you, I provided a short list of some of the better reads on tax policy. Every American would benefit from reading at least one of these, if not all. However, for this class, they are totally optional and no exam, quiz, or any other assessment material will be drawn from them. They're a little bit like the ability to swim. They're not required for this course, but not a bad idea for life. Okay, on with the show. Are you ready? The four characteristics of a good tax are in no particular order. Sufficiency, convenience, efficiency, and fairness. Some of these are a bit more complex than others, but in any case, they each have their own video, which means that this video is over, short and sweet. This brings us to the end of video 2A on the characteristics of a good tax. Our next video is the first characteristic, sufficiency. Thanks for watching.